Good afternoon friends, myself Sujoy Chaurasiya. This particular video is about de-risking your supply chain from China. Friends, as I speak, we are undergoing a black swan event which is going to change this world and I am talking about COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic which is hitting the entire world. As I speak today, we have got close to a million people who are affected by this virus and it has already caused more than 45,000 deaths. These deaths are more out of China rather than inside China and this is creating a lot of heartburn in the rest of the world especially the citizens who are badly affected by the effect of lockdown. This includes a country like India also. Friends let me tell you this is creating a lot of deep resentment against China not because of the virus but the sheer delay that the Chinese government as well as World Health Organization took to convey the dangerous side effects of this virus. Specifically the contagion effect as well as its capability. It's basically a virus, a flu virus, but it has the capability to kill human beings. As I speak today, let me tell you something about China. It contributes to more than 48% of all the manufacturing which happens across the world and it has got a significant market share nearly 28% worldwide. It has virtually made the entire world dependent because of its capability to produce en masse and give one of the lowest cost economics. These are pro mass produced items where the unit rate cost becomes less, not individual products. And this is the time when the entire world automobile companies as well as other companies were looking for alternative supply chain sources. There is the, the only countries where there is a very strong engineering base is South Asia and Southeast Asia. Vietnam and Bangladesh have already undertaken this effort but they are strong only in areas like garment manufacturing and shoe manufacturing which essentially utilizes labor intensive work. This is the right time for India and Indians to think. We are also dependent up to 28% of our automobile intermediaries which come from China. But this is the right time that we have to gun for it, to go for it in the best possible manner that we can get our localization plan in place. Mind you, if we don't it now, we will never be able to do it again. This is the decade where we can prove that India is the next hub for manufacturing specifically related to automobiles. Automobiles as a market in the I segment India already has a leadership and it is the time that we take over even the electric vehicle leadership. The components which are missing in our game plan are essentially batteries that we keep on exporting from China. Very soon we will be having the manufacturing capabilities in the country. We need to master the art of motor manufacturing, especially the BLDCs and the PMDCs. This is the time that we have to go for it. But don't do it now, we will never be able to capture this segment of world. And we have to focus on producing world scale level of producers here in India. If you like my videos friends, I would like to request that you follow me. I will keep on giving you a lot of inputs on how Indian manufacturing can come up to the world standards and start producing for the rest of the world. The world is seeking solutions. Can we provide the solutions as India and Indian businesses? Thank you friends. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content of my video and you feel it is closer to your heart. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below.